In this video we're going to take a look at how to organize our admin team. First, what is admin team? Here this what we see is basically our something like our front end team and as we go under pages slash admin slash something we see that another team is being used and this is basically set here under appearance the admin team that we're using should be activated and it would be selected here for administration team currently it's seven but what will we do if we want to override something let's say add some markup at the tabs or we want to add something at the bottom well basically seven is located under core and teams seven and it's a very bad idea to start editing the yaml files and the javascript files and the css files directly here what we should do is we should basically declare our admin team and we should uh, use the seven as a base team. Let's go ahead and do that and see how this would work on the front end. So as we go under teams custom, we already have Drupal up team. Let's go ahead and create a new folder called Drupal, Drupal up admin and let's go ahead and create a new file quadruple up underscore admin dot info dot yaml and let's put name our version of seven team description Writing seven, core eight type team. team, and the interesting part is base team, and we say seven, perfect. So we save it. First, what we should do is we should clear the cache, and. Afterwards, we should again go under appearance. There we go. And we see that there should be our version of 7 team. So let's go ahead and install it. Just install it. And as it's already installed, we should be able to select it from here, our version of 7 team. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and save. And yeah, like the logo is here being weird, but basically now we are able to override things from our custom team uh, let's go ahead and overwrite some random template file let's override the page it's coming from team 7 page html so let's go ahead and copy it so cool these seven templates so we copy this buddy and we paste it into our so we create a new folder called templates and just paste it here that's perfect and in order to see that it's actually our page template let's go ahead and put here footer and say our nice footer here not very bright but 
we're just trying to show that it works and now as we go under configuration and just clear the cache we would see that our nice footer here is appearing which means that we just overwrote the file from the admin team uh, the right way so this way you are basically using everything from the admin team but you are still able to control it and to change it because uh, in the general use case it's very important uh, to make the admin interface usable and nice for your editors because mostly they are the users of your system and if they're satisfied then uh, that's that's perfect because they appreciate your work so uh, perfect uh, if you like this video please check the links in the description uh, like this video subscribe if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below thanks for watching